Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Police Friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I'm going to show y'all something I picked up at a local flea market over the weekend. Uh, we have flea market at Griffin, Mississippi uh, once a month, and uh, it's called First Monday. And so we went down there and uh, did a little browsing around, and uh, I picked up this uh, Western uh, fixed blade knife right here. It has the original sheath. And the gentleman I picked up from, you know, he, he had a collection of Western knives, uh, Remington knives, case knives, and he uh, he said, you know, his kids really didn't want them, and he's just going to sell them, you know. And I said, I, said, I thought to myself, you know, that's, that's, that's unfortunate, you know, because, uh, you know, I'd hope my, my son or my daughter, you know, would want some of my stuff, you know, but uh, anyway... I'm uh, glad that I was able to find this, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it looks there. Get it focused in there a little bit. Uh, it does have a leather uh, handle on it, aluminum pommel. It's got the brass uh, finger guard right there. And this model is an L66, and it's got ELF stamped on it. Uh, so, best I can tell, this knife was manufactured in 1982, so it's a little older knife there. Uh, the first one that I purchased, y'all, was probably 96, 97, and I no longer have that knife. It was basically taken from me and never returned, and uh, so I think probably uh, around 2010, somewhere in there, I went and bought another one. And uh, that particular knife, I'm not really sure if I sold it or, or I still got it in my house somewhere. I can't find it. Normally, I don't misplace things like a knife, so I believe uh, it's probably been sold. And uh, I know that second one I bought, it didn't come with a sh uh, the original sheath. There's just a really cheap leather sheath. And and uh, I've, I I want to say it might have had maybe a stainless steel blade. I'm not 100% sure. So it wasn't like the the one that I, I bought and uh, the first one so I guess it didn't mean as much but y'all I am tickled pink over this right here y'all and I don't even like pink <laughs> it's kind of fun me saying that but um, tickled pink I haven't said that in a long time y'all but I guess I kind of you know you can see the excitement in my face about this particular knife a uh, lot, lot like I say a lot of a lot of times this knife right here might be inferred just because a lot of times I think of Boy Scouts uh, use this particular knife or this style of knife um, but it it fits real good in my hand um, it just it's got it got this nice little clip point on it <clears throat> and then it's got this little nice you know belly right here this, this makes a perfect perfect um, a knife for doing different things especially like skinning and stuff like that cleaning even small game rabbit squirrel different thing like that and uh so what i'm gonna do with this knife y'all i'm gonna clean it up i'm gonna do a little polishing buffing on it definitely going to uh, treat the handle here with some uh oil and stuff and uh get it back conditioned there because i'm sure it probably never been conditioned and leather dries out over time and uh i picked this knife up y'all for 25 dollars and I know that first knife bought in the late 90s was like $20 and you so $25 for this knife it was a great deal. I don't know what they go for right now, but uh, I'm very excited to have this knife. Uh, this particular one of y'all, I'm not going to be getting rid of this, that's for sure. Uh, now, you can pick these up all the time, you know, if you go on eBay, different places like that, you know, you can find these knives, you know. Um, but it's, it's one of them things, you know, I just don't go out looking for, it's kind of like, well, you know, just come across a, hey, no, I, I remember that knife, you know, and thing is, y'all, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, mean, it's been probably no more two weeks, three weeks ago, I went looking for that knife, you know, I knew I bought one, and I got the kids and my wife looking for it, and I could not find it, nowhere they couldn't find it, and I even asked them, y'all ever seen that knife, and, and they said, no, so, uh, I know I sold some knives some years back, you know, I can't remember, and it might have got sold with them other knives I had, that, you know, some knives I had made, and uh, I think I might have told Tasha to just go ahead and, you know, sell that particular knife because it just didn't really, you know, I don't know, it just didn't mean the same, but uh, like I told her, uh, this particular knife, when I seen it, it just reminded me so much of my knife, the first one that I had, 
Now, I'll be honest with y'all, the first one I had was named this old, and it, be honest with you, I can't remember if he had that brass finger guard, and I'm not really sure if they changed that to aluminum over the years. I haven't done that research. If y'all know, y'all leave a um, comment down below, because I, I can't remember. It seemed like that last one I bought y'all was had aluminum uh, finger guard on it. It, it, was, it. it wasn't even a brass, so that's why I started looking up the information on this particular one because i say you know brass that that has been a little older knife and sure enough when i looked at the information is the 82 model and the thing is they started leaving the they stamping the uh alphabet i think in 1978 1979 somewhere in there they started the uh the stamping let you know how old they were and uh another thing uh they these been made uh, for a long time. I don't know what year this particular model when they first made this particular model, but they made them with different handle material. They made them with wood, and bone, uh, antler uh, material, the uh, leather wrapped here. And uh, so they made them different styles. Some got rivet pins in them. Um, but Western, the, I want to say they started making knives back in 18... Isn't that late 1800s? I can tell you that. And you know, they've been around a long time. And I think they went out of business around 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. So they were in business for a long time. So a lot of their knives are out there. A lot of them are collectibles. And they made real good knives, y'all. Uh, it's just one of them uh, knives that uh, is classic just because of the styling of it, the leather wrap handle here, and uh, the pommel there. You can see. Let's see, we're focusing right there on that. And I say it's, I got what they call it, but anyway, y'all, it's it's it's, a, it's just a good good overall knife, and uh, I just want to bring y'all along, show you what I picked up this weekend, and uh, like I say, I will probably uh, after I do a little work on it and bring it back in another video and show you what it looks like uh, after I get through. Uh, working on it there polishing it and getting it uh you know back I ain't, i'm not gonna say new looking but uh i'm gonna try to get it where it's looking uh a little bit better than it is now which it don't to me y'all it don't look bad now uh the gentleman had this you can clearly see he took care of his knives and um so i was fortunate you know run across somebody that actually cared enough about their knives and uh, took good care of them and like I say he might have even the handle itself y'all is not really Dry looking. I don't know if y'all can see that or not this camera sometimes it has its own uh, way of thinking and Focusing but the handle itself don't look bad at all and uh, Just uh, you know just looking at the blade uh, itself. I'm seeing just a little bit of a pitting around this area right in here just a little pitting on the end here just a little bit so I think he used this knife uh, from here and there, but overall, y'all, uh, he took care, good, good care of it, and uh, I'm very happy to run across and get me another one of these. And um, hope this video, y'all, ain't been too long there. Y'all can see I'm kind of excited about my new knife I bought there, and uh, I appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate y'all watching the videos, and as always, friends from my family, yours, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.